happy Saturday guys we are doing our first weekend vlog we are here enjoying some time at the park now that it's not raining it's not too hot the mosquitoes and the gnats have died down a bit so um, we're going to take you guys along on our Saturday and show you guys what we're going to be doing today we'll see you guys in a bit I climbed up the slide Alright, so while I'm happy to be out of the house and at the park, um, I feel like my makeup is melting off because it was cooler out here, but um, with the clouds moving in and out and the sun coming in and out, oh, the sweat is starting to trickle, you guys, but um, we're still at the park. Um, the kids are still having a blast. I wish I would have brought a book to read, but... Um, I was just trying to rush out of the house and forgot to bring one. I think I might have something on my Kindle app on my phone that I can um, pick up and read um, for a little bit while they continue to play. And that's about it. I think we're going to hang out here for about 15 or 20 more minutes and then we're going to go on to our next destination. So we are finally leaving the park. The kids are tired. We're all more than a little bit sweaty. So our next stop, we're going to stop by the recycling center. We're first going to see if we can find it. Um, and then hopefully drop off this trunk full of recycling that I have. So we'll see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, so the recycling center turned out to be a bust. Like, this place advertises that they recycle stuff, but um, the reality is they don't. They just consider it um, kitchen garbage, and so it still ends up in a landfill. This is um, very disappointing because I really do like recycling, and I, you know, wanted my things to get recycled, so I'm going to have to try and figure something out. Um, I may be having to drive back into the city. Um, maybe every other weekend to make sure my stuff is actually getting properly recycled but um now we are here at the dollar tree we're gonna go in and look around and see what they have and then we're gonna skip on down to walmart so we'll take you guys along with us see you when we get in there
Love like this. Mm. I got actually come here and pick up books from time to time. I think I'm actually gonna come and get come back with this one because it's on my TBR. These weird looking ponies. Oh, yeah. Let me feel now. The head is big. Let me. I gave it a big bump. I'm not that good at sports. Yeah, I wish. I suck at basketball. But I'm sort of good at soccer. Yeah, yeah. Crayons. Say hi, mommy. She's organizing the ball. <sighs> All right, guys, so we have made it to Wally World. Uh, we went inside and got us a quick snack, and then we're going to eat it out here in the car, and then we're going to go back in and look around. I mean, this is what you have to do when you have kids, and they're whining about being hungry and thirsty for you to shop. So, um, like I said, we're going to enjoy these um, gummy snacks and a quick drink, and then we're going to go back inside of Wally World and shop and see what they have. See you guys when we get back in there. Yeah. I'm gonna find it. Yeah. Yeah. So we are here at Wallyer. Alright, let's get oh buggy. Are y'all hiding? Yes. Let's get it. I want I want to Oh my gosh you guys, so we are in Walmart and these totes are so adorable. I love watermelon. Yeah, the watermelon is cute. And then the cactus, oh, ooh, and they're only seven bucks. Ooh, the just remind me that those eight the be cute. Minecraft game, but yeah. everything is eight So eight. they would be great for book totes. Two ooh, no, that's a great handbag. Mommy, look. Ooh, I mommy. see. Mommy, oh, look at that Black Panther. I want this one. Oh, that is super cute. You okay, guys, the kids back there are so cute. Mommy, I, I think they took this one that one. <laughs> oh. Oh, Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon. 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 Pajamas. That's cute too. And they have this one. You guys, all the unicorn stuff is so adorable. Look at this one. Yep, I like that. So adorable. Yeah. It says creative is the new cool. It's got the little pompons. Oh, that's cute too. Back it. Listen. When mama lose her weight, she gonna be back Mommy. buying clothes about the kids section. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, this one has a cute little velvet jacket. Oh, look at this one. It's look. Look. Yeah, because the rug rats are coming back. Yay! That's cool. Oh, wow. Mommy, look. So we are back home. Um, my phone died when we were out and about in Walmart, but um, we had a great time in there looking around, found some really cool stuff as you guys saw. Um, I am home now. The kids are uh, in their rooms playing, as you may hear them in the background, and I have just put dinner on and I'm working on some blog stuff, and then I'm thinking about... Um, getting to uh to all the boys i've loved before by jimmy Hahn, because this uh the netflix series comes out friday i think 
I'm pretty sure it's Friday. And then I also have a P.S. I Still Love You. And then Always and Forever Lodgings. I want to go ahead and get to these. Definitely at least the first one before Friday gets here. Um, it's under 400 pages, so I, I should be able to finish this in like a day or two. I'm really excited to get to these because I've heard nothing but good things about this series and with the Netflix um, show coming out. I'm hoping that I will like both the books and the series. I know there was um, this one book that Netflix turned into a series recently, The Kissing Booth, I think, and some people loved the book, but then they saw the movie and they absolutely hated it. <laughs> so I'm hoping that this is um, not going to go down that same path of being, you know, an awesome book series and then, you know, Netflix not being able to do it justice in the show version, but we'll see. Um, anyways, like I said, I am working on some blog stuff right now. Um, if you guys don't know, I have a blog. I'll show you. It's uh, southernsagittarius.com and I'm just working on some stuff. This is my latest post. I love doing the um, TBB-esque. They do like different Q&As um, every month and this month's theme was all about parties. So go and check that out and then I also did their vacation edition from last month. So I'm just catching up so I can um, just be more consistent on my blog. Uh, last month was a bit of a bust just because I wasn't able to be home. Um, my mom ended up in the ICU so I had to go to my hometown and um, I stayed there for a bit. Um, thankfully she is fine. And she was out of the ICU and doing better and um, just still recovering. But uh, last month, uh, it's just crazy. And while I am sad that our summer break is coming to a close, I'm not sad that July has come and gone. Um, it feels like August is flying by because it's like, what, almost the third week of August? Yeah, almost. And it just seems like it's flying by so quick, like the holidays are, well, coming, or you could just say they're pretty much here because, I mean, next month is Labor Day, then October brings um, Halloween, and then, you know, Thanksgiving comes after that, and boom, 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 Christmas, and then the New Year, so I'm excited about that. I'm looking forward to the holidays and being able to spend some more time with my family. Um, especially my siblings like we always have a great time when we get together so I'm looking forward to that um, and also just to the new year because we're going to be taking some trips we're going to be going to Atlanta and then uh, for my birthday next year I want to take a trip to London um, so we'll see um, so yeah that's it I will check back in with you guys later also let me know down in the comments if you have um, read the to all the boys I've loved before series or is it called the Laura James series I'm not sure but just let me know if you have read those books down below and what you thought of them
fell asleep last night so I didn't get to start um, to all the boys I love but I'm going to get started on that today um, I slept in for a bit so now I'm just about to um, make some breakfast and clean up my kitchen because it is a hot mess um, and then I will come back and check in with you guys and let you know um, how I am enjoying um, to all the boys I've loved. Is it to all the boys I've loved before? Yeah, I think that's it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, like I said yesterday, I want to go ahead and get at least the first book read before the series comes out on Friday on Netflix. And I'm just hoping that I really enjoy the book and um, again that Netflix does um, obviously the book justice because like I said a lot of people um, were really disappointed in the series they did for um, the kissing booth so hopefully they won't make whatever mistakes they made of that movie this time around um, I haven't seen the kissing booth so um, I can't really, you know, give my opinions on where I think they went wrong with it, but, um, like I said, I am going to be reading the book, uh, to all the boys I've loved before, and then watching the series on Friday, and, um, I probably will be, um, I don't know, maybe doing like a little Twitter chat about it or whatnot, so let me guys know if that's something you'll be interested in doing, um. And yeah, I'll check back in with you later. Mommy's making bacon right now, tea. Alright guys, so it is um, almost 6 o'clock. Uh, I did not start on to all the boys I loved before um, this morning after breakfast. I got caught up in doing some stuff on my blog. But um, I did start it just a while ago while I was waiting on dinner to cook. And so far I like it. Um, it's a really good book. Something I didn't know before going into this book was that there are three sisters. Um, I always have heard people in like their book reviews or book chat um, talk about the oldest sister, Margaret. Or, yeah, I think her name is Margot. Yes. Um, so I've always heard people talk about her. And then, of course, there's the main character of the book. Um, but I never knew like they had a little sister, Kitty. So I am on page 12 so just started chapter three and i'm gonna take a quick break and pause for it to make um the kids plates and all that stuff and then i'm gonna read a little bit while i have dinner and they're going to watch a little bit of tv and then i will check back in with you guys and let you guys know if i'm still enjoying the book or not All right, so here's a quick look at what we're having for dinner. We're going to have some white rice, and then um, I have some leftover just uh, chicken sticks that I uh, put some spices on, um, kind of like a Santa Fe style, with like some taco mix, some chili powder, onion powder, garlic, and all that stuff. And then we have some... Um, what I like to call my fiesta beans uh, here which is pinto beans mixed with some spices and peppers and onions and all the other stuff that I like to put in there that is my secret recipe but the kids actually just love it like I make uh, as you can see a whole pot of this and by the end of the night all of the beans will probably be gone so I'm really glad that I experimented with um, the spices and other things that I put in here because like before they weren't even like interested in beans and all of that stuff so I'm glad I found a way to find a way to get them interested but yeah that's it for dinner and then we'll just have um, some juice water kool-aid I'm actually drinking some tea in this cute cup that my sister got me it says I'll be needing more coffee it's so cute 
So yeah, that's it. And then I'm going to get back to reading um, to all the boys I love the boy and we'll check back in.